Race two on the card is the first leg of the place accumulator. It's a maiden plate over 1,400 meters due off at 13.15. Before we get into analyzing the form, let's hear from Duncan Howells and Tinny prince Lure. They saddle Cupid and Montana Sky, respectively. Lyle Newton rode her last time out, said to me, actually come back a furlong. Um, she was way out of her ground last time. She ran on very well to her point. Obviously, once again against Colts, we're a little bit stuck for grass races against fillies for maidens. But uh, I think she gave a fairly good account of herself and she could run into quartets. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, Montana Sky, a lovely horse. He's a very sound horse. Uh, uh, touch wood for that. And uh, yeah, you know what? They had two seconds in a row now. And I really fancy him. It's the only concern is the draw again. But if he can finish like he always finish, uh, yeah, he should be right up there, yeah. Shows fairly decent work. I, I actually thought he'd uh, run up close in his first couple of runs. But like I say, we've had issues with him at the starting stalls, and I think that's played a big part. He's had a couple of runs where he's been a bit unlucky with the interference. So possibly back end of Cortez. So we're in first leg of the place to accumulate. It's a maiden plate over 1,400 metres. Yes, unfortunately, Montana Sky has cracked another poor draw, which will hamper his chances. The big question mark, I guess, is number 11, Arctic Tune. How's he going to behave? What the computer form doesn't show, but what we know and what Gareth Van Sale has often explained, is that they've had huge problems with the source of the gates. He's been scratched on more than one occasion at the start. Last time out on the 18th of October, they finally loaded him and he ran a cracking race. And Gareth has always been of the view that this is a very very decent horse and I make him a clear first choice but always concerned as to how he's going to behave on the day. Absolutely that does always play in the back of your mind uh, but he was the fastest finishing on debut he really caught the eye Graham and uh, I think we must just watch out on race day see how he behaves but he obviously has an outstanding winning chance. You touched on Montana Sky who's uh, unfortunately drawn wide but he's going to win his race one of these days and I feel it could well easily be on Sunday but it's a, it's a tough race there's a couple of other horses that we've got to talk about as well instinctive power horse number two for Michael Miller Mr Saad and Jabu Jacobs never too far off the action and one can't help get the feeling that he's going to win his race soon well he's a bit of a draw strike um, last two runs 12 out of 14 10 out of 14 now he cracks a two draw with Jabu Jacobs taking two and a half kilograms off his back. He is my second selection. I think he's going to run a heck of a race. I think he's a big runner in this event. Okay, then you've talked about or you've tipped number three, King Cyrus. Got to have obvious claims. Yes, he's always there and thereabouts. He's also got a very neat draw of three. The Andre Nell stable under the care of Byron Foster ticking along nicely. He's my third selection in the race, as you've mentioned. Last two runs haven't been too bad, but he's going to have to step up. He's going to have to continue to improve. Cupid, the filly, she's uh, again uh, the reasoning there that they're running these fillies against the boys. They're just a shortage of, of track of turf races, but she's going to have a chance. She seems to be coming along the right way. Good second start behind Blue Winter. She will need to improve further, and I'm sure she is improving further. Duncan Howell's a nice winner with Marsan in the week, so his runners are running well again. But she has a tough task here, I think. Okay, but I think we both got a row in with Arctic Tune as our first choice. He looks, he's got to behave, but he, he, he looks to be something a little bit special. Well, maybe. I'm going on as much his reputation as I am the evidence of his first run, because Gareth has on many occasions said to us, this horse can really run. He's uh, caused grey hairs for Gareth uh, in terms of his behaviour at the starting gates. But let's hope they've got over that little hump and that he puts his best foot forward on Sunday. So number 11, Arctic Tune, to win the first leg of the place accumulator.